Hey everybody, this is Michael and uh, with California, and today I wanted to do a quick uh, preview or a quick walkthrough of the PEBT application. So I know we got a lot of comments on our YouTube video about like when can you apply or if you have eligible children but you haven't got your PEBT card yet. Um, I, I always keep sending out, hey, you know, May 22nd, at least here in California, is the date that you can apply for it. And so I am going to do a quick walkthrough of the PEBT application for children. It's real fast. It's real simple. Um, and as long as you have all the information for your kids, it should be something you can get done in maybe 10 minutes, five minutes. It just kind of depends on, um, you know, how prepared everybody is or how much information you have for your children. So first, if you go to the website, um, previously we had looked at it. There was not an apply now. It just had basic question, uh, information about how the program works, which you can see here. But um, now today on the, uh, Friday the 22nd it was the first day that it started to have an apply button so if you can click on the apply button it'll take you to the first uh, explanation where it just kind of goes over what you're gonna need some basic information um, as well as you know just the information that you would need to, to fill out the application and then obviously telling you what the steps is to, to get that card as well so hit continue on that uh, so the first question is 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 your student able to receive a free or reduced meals during the year? If you put no, it's going to automatically say um, the person is not eligible for for the program because the program is only for um, it's children at the moment. So you can't. If you put no, then you're gonna, it's going to stop you right there. If you put yes, then it's going to ask you have you already received the PEBT card? Um, and if you have already received it, then you probably don't need to go any farther. Um, but if you have not, click no. Um, and then it's going to ask you for to list all the students that are in the household by their name. So just in this case, I'm going to put test Testerson, and just for an example, uh, January 1st. Uh, let's see, they were born let's say 2010. And it, if they're in public school, you can include public school or private school. You can include private school. Then uh, once that's done, you can hit continue. Uh, if you have more children, you can add them on there as many as you have. Um, hit continue. And then it says here, just so you know, the card will have the oldest student's name on it when it arrives. If you applied for more than one children, all benefits will be on this one card. Adults in the household will be able to use it to shop for the whole family. Then it's going to ask you uh, what address you have on file. So if they're homeless, if you're homeless at the time, you can use that box. If not, you can put in your address. So let's do 1123 Test Street. And that is uh, apartment one, test, the city, uh, 91331. That's, oh, let's do Los Angeles. Los Angeles. And um, you can, if this is where you want all your mail sent, put yes. If you have a different address, you can put no, and it'll give you the option to fill out a second address. Also, they're going to ask, how can they contact you? So let's put here test at gmail.com. And then obviously, it's going to ask for the parent signatures. It's just a digital signature, so you don't have to like sign anything. Um, test signature. And then bam, once that's done, you'll get a uh, confirmation for your application, and then you should receive your card within 12 days. It'll also give you the opportunity to apply for some other benefits, so apply for CalFresh um, and that kinds of stuff. So like I said, the application is real quick, it's real easy, and basically all you gotta do is put the information in there, get it sent out, and you know, even if you don't know if you're eligible for the program or not, if you're not sure if one of your children are eligible or not, put them in there. The worst thing that can happen is they can say no, um, but then the upside could be that you could get up to $365 per each child to help them pay for the food uh, that they're eating while they're home and they're not at school anymore. So um, I just want to make a real quick video for Friday. Other than that, I hope everyone is doing well. I hope you have a great day and I hope you all stay healthy and thank you so much.